Hello everyone, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. For today's video, we'll be looking at BECE Mathematics Past Questions and Answers. These are likely exam questions that will definitely help you as you take your BECE exam 2023-2024. Let's look at the very first question here. We have 1 over... Okay, so let's get to work. 1 over x equal to 1 whole number, 1 over 2. We are meant to find the value of x. So the first thing we need to do is to change the fraction at the right-hand side to improper fraction. It will give us 1 over x equal to 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3, equal to 3 over 2. The next thing is to cross multiply. x times 3 will give me 3x equal to 1 times 2 is 2. Divide both sides by 3 to get the value of x. 3 year 1, 3 year 1. So x is 2 over 3. That's the answer. The right option is D. Alright, let's look at question 2. Calculate the size of an exterior angle of a regular pentagon. To calculate the size of an exterior angle of a regular pentagon, we can use this formula. Exterior angle, let me write it down. Exterior angle. Equal to... 360 over number of sides now in the case of a regular pentagon the number of sides is 5 so plugging this into the formula we are going to get exterior angle equal to 360 degree divide by 5, which will give me 72 degree. So my right answer is option A. Alright, we've gotten our answer. Let's go to question 3. This question says, factorize x squared minus 5x plus 6. To factorize this, the first thing we need to do is to multiply this first term with this last term here. So x squared times 6 will give me 6x squared. Now we need to look for the factors of 6x. Um, 6x, that if you sum together you get the middle term here which is minus 5. Factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3, Okay, that's all. You know, 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 2 times minus 3 will give me plus 6. Since minus times minus is plus. And minus 2 plus minus 3 will give me minus 5. So I'm going to pick these two factors of 6 and replace the middle term, which is minus 5. S squared will give me minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. Like I said, minus 2x times minus 3x will give me plus 6x squared. Now group them. Put this in two groups. This is the second group. Check what do they have in common here? x. If I pick x from the first term, I'll be left with x minus remove x from here, I'll be left with 2. Okay, I can still use this x to break the bracket x times x x squared, x times minus 2 minus 2x. Two what can I remove from here? Minus 3. If I remove minus 3 from this, I'll be left with x and I'll be left with minus 2 here. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x, minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. Put this, the term outside the bracket in a bracket, so it will give me x 
minus 3. Pick one from this bracket, that's x minus 2. So I have my answer. You can see we write this as x minus 2 and x minus 3. So we can rearrange this, which is the second option B. Question 4. Kwame, Atsu, and Kojo share the profit of 50,000 CDs in the ratio 1, ratio 4, ratio 3, respectively. How much did Asu get? Whenever you have a question like this, the first thing you must do is to find the sum of ratio. The sum of ratio is simply 1 plus 4 plus 3, which will give me 8. 1 represents what Kwemi gets, Atsu gets 4. And they ask us to find how much Atsu we get. So it will be 4 out of sum of ratio, which is 8, times the amount they are meant to share, which is 50,000 CDs. 4 year 1, 4 year 2. Okay? 2 year 1, 2 into 50, 25,000 CDs. That's what he's going to get. So the right option is option D. Question 5. Use the identity a square minus b square equal to bracket a plus b close bracket bracket a minus b to evaluate this. So this is difference of 2 square. 83 square minus 17 square. Let this be A, let this be B. It will give me 83 plus 17. Bracket 83 minus 17. Alright? So 83 plus 17 will give me 100. Times 83 minus 17. Borrow one year, 7. 13 minus 7, 6. 66. So the answer will be 6600 or 6600. And the right option is B. Alright, question 6. Question 6 says, what is the probability of obtaining a prime number when a fair die is thrown once? So, to determine the probability of obtaining a prime number when a fair die is thrown once, we need to identify the prime numbers among the possible outcomes of the die rule. A fair die, like you know, has six sides. Don't forget that. Okay, these six sides are numbered from one to six. Among these numbers, the prime numbers are 2, 3, and 5. So, out of the six possible outcomes, three of them correspond to prime numbers. Therefore, the probability of obtaining a prime number when a fair die is thrown will be 3 out of the six possible outcomes, which will give me 3 year 1, 3 year 2, 1 over 2. The right option is B. Question 7. The following are the scores obtained by girls in a beauty contest. 12, 16, 19, 14, 17, 8, 11, 19. What is the probability of obtaining a score of 19? How many 19s do you have here? We have 1, 2. So the possibility of obtaining 19 is 2 out of total possible outcome. We have total numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 out of 8. 2 year 1, 2 year 4, which is 1 over 4. The right option is C. Question 8. Express 25 as a percentage of 75. So 25 out of 75 as a percentage, you multiply by 100%. 5, 6, 
five year fight. Five year one remaining two, five year two three, five five. Five year one, five year three. Let's divide 100% by 3. 3 into 10, 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Take away, we we'll have 1. Bring down the 0. 3 year into 10, 3. 9, take away 1. Can go point zero. This is a recurring decimal. It will give, keep giving you 33.333. So the right answer is 33.3%, which is D. Question 9. Find the value of M given that M is 3 raised to power 6 divided by 3 raised to power 4 times. Since what you have here is in base 3, we need to express 27 in base 3. You know that 3 times 3 times 3 will give me 27. How many 3's do we have here? 3. So 27 will be 3 raised to the power of 3. Okay, 3 raised to the power of 6 means 3 in 6 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 raised to the power of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 4, 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4. We cancel 4, 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll be left with 3 raised to the power of 2 now times this 3 raised to the power of 3. Seeing the bases are the same, you pick one 3, then add up the exponent 2 plus 3, 5. The answer is 3 raised to the power of 5, which is C. Question 10. Express this in standard form 0 0.0043216. Now move the decimal, 1, 2, 3. You stop once you get to the first digit, 4.3216. Since I moved three places, so since I moved three places, it's going to be 10 raised to the power minus 3 for the fact that I counted to the right. If you move to the left, then your power will be positive. So the answer is B. Question 11. P equal to prime numbers less than 20. Q, odd numbers less than 20, 10. Find P intercept Q. What are the prime numbers less than 20? There are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Odd numbers less than 10. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, that's all. So P intercept Q means what you have in P and Q. There's 3 here, there's 3 here, there's 5 here, there's 5 here. There's 7 here, there's 7 here. My answer will be 3, 5, 7. And the right option is D. Question 12. Convert 10410 to binary numeral. Binary means base 2. So we divide. 104 by 2. 10 divided by 2, 5. 4 divided by 2, 2. Remainder 0. Continue with 2. 5 divided by 2, 2. Remainder 1. 12 divided by 2, 6. Remainder 0. 26 divided by 2, 13. Remainder 0. 13 divided by 2, 6. Remainder 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. Remainder 0. 2 into 3. 1. Remainder 1. 2 into 1. 0. Remainder 1. Then you gently count upwards. We have 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. 
So one one zero one zero zero one one is option B. Question thirteen. All right, let's look at question thirteen. What is the HCF of eighteen? Thirty and forty eight. How do you find HCF? Problems on HCF, you must look for a number that can divide all the numbers involved. So I'm going to start with 2. 18 divided by 2, 9. 30 divided by 2, 15. 48 divided by 2, 24. What can divide through? 3. 9 divided by 3, 3, 5, 8. What can divide through? Nothing less. So the HCF will simply be 2 times 3, which are the divisors. So the answer is 6. The right option is D. Question 14. Express 34 meters, 5 centimeters in millimeters, 1000 millimeters, we give you 1 meters. So 34 meters in millimeters will be 34,000 millimeters equal to 34 meters. 10 millimeters make 1 centimeters. So 5 centimeters will simply be 50 millimeters. Sum this up. 0, 5, 0, 4, 3. 34,050 millimeters will be out. Sorry, I didn't add the 6 millimeters. Let's add it. So, plus the last 6 millimeters. Okay? So, this will be 6. So, it will be 34,056, which is option C. Alright, question 15. Each interior angle of a regular polygon is this. They give us the interior angle. Each exterior angle is 2y. Find the value of y. You know that the each interior angle plus each exterior angle Must give me 180 degree. In the question, the each interior angle, the interior angle is 2y plus 336. Exterior angle is 2y. So both must give me 180 degree. 2y plus 2y is 4y plus 36. Equals 180 degree. Collect like this. Move 36 to the right hand side to give you 4y equal to 180 minus 36. Let's find out what it will give us. This is 4, 7 minus 3, 4. To give me 1, 4, 4. 4y four equal to 1, 4, 4. Divide both sides by 4 to get the value of y. 4 year 1, 4 year 1. 4 year 1, 4 in 2, 14 is 3, remember 2, 4 into 24 is 6, 36 degree B is the right answer. Alright, thank you. Let's look at question 16. Let's solve this. Alright, let's bring out the fraction. Let's um, Change everything to improper fraction. 2 times 1, 2 plus 1. 3 over 2 plus 2 times 2. 4 plus 1. 5 over 2. Times 3 over 4. Minus 1 over 2. Sorry, this is minus. Then we must use both maths. Multiply force. 
3 over 2 plus 5 times 3, 15, 2 times 4, 8, and minus 1 over 2. LCM, the LCM is 8. Divide and multiply. 8 divided by 2, 4, 4 times 3, 12, plus 8 divided by 8, 1, 1 times 15, 15, minus 8 divided by 2, 4, 4 times 1, 4. So 12 plus 15 is 27 minus 4, that's 23. So what I have here is 23 over 8. How many times can 8 go into 23? 2 times 16, remainder 7, 2, 7 over 8. Okay, I think the right answer is not there, but the answer is what we have. 2 whole number 7 over 8, take note of this. I'll just add it as E here. Two whole numbers, seven over eight is the right answer. Okay, question 17. If the average of 5, 8, B, 9, and 4 is 7, find the value of B. To get average, sum everything 5 plus 8 plus B plus 9 plus 4. The average is 7. To get average, sum and divide by how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divide by 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 13 is 26. So 26 plus B over 5 equal to 7 over 1. Cross multiply. 26 plus B equal to 5 times 7, 35. Color like times B, we give us 35 minus 26. Which is what? 9. So the right answer is A. Alright, question 18. Express the true bearing of 196 degree as a compass bearing. Now, let me draw the... Yeah, this is the north, east, south, and west. Let's find it. Let's locate 196 degree. This is 180 degree. That means 196 degrees between south and west. Okay? So, if I add 45 degree to this, this is 5, 2, carol, is more than that. So, what we add to 180 to get 196? That's 16, right? So 196 degree will just be around here 16 degree. So my answer will be south 16 degree west, which is A. Question 19. A student is picked at random from a class containing 17 boys and 13 girls. What is the probability the student is a girl? The total sample 17 boys plus 13 girls, girls will give me the total student of 30. The girls are 13. My answer is 13 out of 30, which is B. Question 20. Evaluate this. Change to improper fraction. 9 times 5, 45. 45 plus 4, 49. So square root of 49 over 9. The square root affects both of them. Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 into 7. 2 remainder 1 out of 3. Or 7. Okay? 2 number 1 over 3. I'm going to put the answer for you. 2, 1 over 3. Thank you very much for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't go anywhere. You are free to share any question you want me to solve for you. Please share this video. Help your friends who are preparing for the same exam you are about to write. You can share any content you want me to do and keep supporting IDC. Bye for now.